thank you very much for being here, listening to me, and particularly thank you for inviting me to this um, conference and to have this uh, speak. Actually, I'm here to present you a board game. A board game that, together with our colleague, uh, Irene Stepanes, we invented. We are master students from IFIS, and uh, well, let's start the talk. I would like to interact with you a bit during this talk. And first of all, I will make you a question. Can you recognize this, this network? Is it risk? Yes. Oh, risk. Uh, it's risk. risk. This is point. a brief <laughs> Very, very good. <laughs> this is exactly the network of risk. And um, uh, I don't know if every uh, one of you have ever thought of risk as a, uh, a network. But uh, actually, there is a very hidden, uh, or the hidden strategy referred to network theory. Can we use risk to teach network theory? Well, let's see. There are some concepts that are interesting. Which ones? For example, the between centrality. Every one of you oh, that have played knows that this one. Who is this one? Is uh, some uh, no no no. It, it, it's it's, it's, uh, no, it's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. It is Saudi Arabia. Exactly, it is the hardest <laughs> to defend. Never catch Saudi Arabia because everyone will attack you from that. And which is this? This is Oceania. It is uh, take Oceania first because you will win the game. And actually, uh, you can understand uh, this has uh, between a centrality and a non distribution. You can uh, make a strategy uh, through these two concepts. And also, of course, the continents are the communities. But it's not a graph when you visualize it. And it's, of, it's of course a game. And of course, the probability concepts that are inside risk are not so easy to compute. You know, it's always really tricky when you throw the dice. And uh, there is no a clustering producing mechanism. Uh, the clustering coefficient has not a principal um, role during the game. So we decided to invite, uh, invent a new board game in which, in a top-down way, we insert the concept we wanted to uh, present. So, I present you networks. <laughs> this is the map, and these are the concepts that we implemented in the game. Probability, nodes, links, spreading, path lengths, clustering, degrees and trend. I will go through all of them, but of course, let's begin with the board. <laughs> okay, it's a maximum six player game, and the, uh, uh, during the game, you will have to construct commercial route uh, all over the Mediterranean Sea. All the zones are divided in three zones, and I will explain you later why there are so many zones. The, um, in the star circle in green are the capital, and this is where you start your game. You will start here without any nodes, uh, with, uh, without any links, without commercial route, and you will start <coughs> to create commercial route. The, um, the dots, up to now, are just dots, okay, on the map. During the game, you will build up this network, and actually our is idea is to pass the concept of spreading in the sense that you are spreading your commercial route all over the Mediterranean Sea. Now, let's go to nodes and links. The nodes are divided in city and trading post. Why? The links are the commercial route. It's really easy to, to understand what are a commercial route, which is the concept of trading and city, trading post and city. Actually, when you construct a commercial route, you will immediately have a trading post there. For example, the red one construct here a first commercial route and here another one. So here he has two trading posts. Why? The orange here he construct a city. You can find them circled, which are the differences. The, difference, the differences are in the moment in which you will have 
to recollect money because it is a game so it, uh, it has a normal mechanism of money with whom you can create things I will go uh, slowly to this but first of all how you create a link and this is the gambling part the finding part of the game okay actually how do you do? you throw a dice really easy if you want to create a link between two dots in the same zone so like this like this, like this you throw the dice and you have to do more than two if you want to cross a borders like these two, these two uh, or even these two because actually the maps are connected all over you have to do more than four, four, five or six if you want to connect two dots that are and you want to cross two borders you just have to do a six or this or even this or actually this How do we implement, did we implement the path legs? Okay, this is how you will move the money through the network. I will tell you later how you recollect money. Just now focus on the fact that you can move money. And to move money, you just have to count the number of links that you have. And you have to throw the dice and do more than the number of links you have. Really easy. The clustering confisa. Now I will explain your money. At the beginning of the game, you have six coins. And you can uh, decide to construct a commercial route that costs you two coins. Okay? At the beginning of every turn, you will collect taxes from the capital, from the cities, and from the number of clicks you have between cities. Okay? So you will collect three coins from the capital, two coins for every city you have, and three co uh, one coins for every click that you have. The maximum number you can create only click of level four maximum. Okay, otherwise the game was too fast and you will start to have a lot of money and that was not nice. <laughs> and now, how did we implement degree centrality? Actually. Uh, the recentality uh, refers to how you win the game. The game is uh, told to be um, to teach that you can conquer with money, because we know that uh, is a, a worst way of conquering that. And um, and actually, you will have uh, so I'm the green, and I want to conquer the, uh, the black. I will have to construct a city in the same place where the black has a city. It's okay to have a city in the same place, okay? And I will have to construct a city in the other's capital, okay? And uh, to do this, I will have to move money and there is the mechanism I explained you before. And um, as you can see, actually, this depends on the degree centrality of the capital. Because, of course, this capital is quite hard to conquer because you will have to construct actually six cities and after move the money to the other's capital. So, to reassume, up to now we have the nodes that are the city and the trading post, the links that are the commercial route, the clicks that are triangles between the cities, the probability that is due to link creation and money transfer, and the path lengths that is due to money transfer. Clear up to now, more or less? Okay. These were the, the concepts that we implement in the game. But which concepts are useful to implement a strategy to win the game? Very well. The degree centrality is to defend the capital. The clustering confisa to have more money in each turn to do more things, and the path lengths so that you can move faster the money. Just with these three variables you can decide how to construct your strategy. But can we use this tool to teach network theory? Well, we try this with children. We did it in two schools and we had three classes, more or less 75 children and from 8 to 10 years old. The first time we proved it, it was just to more for us than for them, <laughs> just to understand if it was useful and we can do it actually. 
And the first lesson that uh, we learned is that uh, it's good to adapt the map to the concept that the uh, children are uh, knowing that moment. The, the, the teacher were explaining something about astronomy, and so we do it an astronomy map. And that it's good to uh, draw the networks uh, to uh, let uh, people, uh, children, visualize it. So how did we play? We put uh, the transparent paper on this, and uh, when they finish the play, they just have the um, networks on their own stands. The third lesson that we uh, learn is that, you know, children are really noisy, and so <laughs> <laughs> actually it's good to have a way to give them order. Better is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But after that class, we take another um, two classes, and in this uh, second trial, yeah. we try to do a good experiment. And so, how, did, how do you start to do an experiment with a hypothesis? So, let's hypothesize the spherical child. That is the ones that when you give him a survey, <laughs> does not copy. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good approximation, actually. <laughs> okay, so, how did we implement it? We give them a survey at the beginning and at the end of uh, uh, the activity and uh, we let them play the game. And in the first class they just uh, play the game. In the second class we give them a little explanation to see if there were differences. Which question did we do on this um, survey? Well, uh, once about degree centrality, uh, one about shorter path lengths and another one about clicks. Which were the questions? Well, these, and I have them here, and I can pass them to you, are the survey. Ones that we did before, and the other after. If you want to pass them, I will explain to you. Actually, we explained them the first uh, picture, telling, telling them, okay, so this node has one link, this node has one link, these other have two links. Can you do a circle in the ones that are more links for every graph that we print here? Okay, second question. We print two dots in different color. Which are the distance between the two dots? Third question. If you want to do uh, new links between the two dots, which ones would you do? And after we, do, we arrive with Okay, this and these are the um, answers to the questions. Okay, and uh, well, it's really easy to collect them. But let's see if we have some results actually. Well, it seems yes. Here I got the, the first questions. This is uh, in um, question view. Okay, so uh, these are how many uh, children did respond well. To, for example, the ninth question, that is uh, uh, the ones uh, on the bottom right, okay? How many children did respond before? This is the number. How many after? This is the number, okay? So it seems that actually uh, there are uh, enough people <laughs> that respond well. And uh, uh, what happened? Um, this, is, this instead is the number um, in a um, um, children way. So these are uh, here you have the questions, and these are children number 43, uh, 15, 14, or 15, or something like that. So it seems that actually the activity is quite good, at least for the first question. Let's go to the second question that has actually even better results, as you can see uh, quite well from the graph. And uh, actually, here I'm plotting uh, the first trial, so just uh, survey again, survey. I will show you later for a while uh, what happens if you give them explanation. Third question, actually this is not so good. <laughs> and this question we understand that uh, was, uh, wasn't good, actually. Uh, the question again? Uh, the question was, can you, um, uh, can you, if you, um, want to do a new line, a new link between two dots. 
which one would you do? Why we want to do it? Because we want to see if uh, uh, after, before and after they um, do more, uh, they try to close triangles. That's why I think that uh, at the end the question is not so good because uh, uh, well, children just uh, uh, try to do it in the more creative way <laughs> and so it wasn't so, I think that the question wasn't so good that's why I had, I, we had a uh, not so good result well let's see what happened if uh, uh, we have uh, um, uh, the, the, also the explanation well, the things uh, uh, change a bit, but not so much. But it's a bit better, but not so, not so much. Very well. So, up to now. Last questions. Okay, five minutes of questions. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did it short, because I thought that uh, there, were, uh, there could be a lot of questions, so my last uh, answer are, it is good, it seems yes, it is funny, the children were like amazing, <laughs> amazed by the game and they want to play a lot, and uh, a little uh, information is that we try also in uh, high school, uh, in some high school, in one high school, and they didn't catch the game. I think that, I don't know, teenagers are, <laughs> I don't know, it seems that it's harder, and, uh, but I, I wasn't there because uh, actually uh, um, uh, to, to do this activity there was um, uh, Paolo Thierry, that uh, some of you maybe knows, that is the one that makes the links between uh, uh, me and uh, the chain, the chief of the conference, <laughs> actually, and you, and so, last question is, if you want to try, <laughs> and let me thank you, oh, Paolo, Manuela, Isabella, that is the teachers that did in the high school, and uh, Ricardo and Jose that helped me to structure all the activity. Also. You have to do a lot of like testing before, like balancing how expensive different things are. And you said that yeah, it's only maximum of like five money you can get each round and stuff like this. Yes, uh, uh, in that case, uh, I play with uh, the must, uh, my colleagues, the children, the world, <laughs> my colleagues, and we taste a lot. And actually, it seems that now it's quite equilibrated again because, well, actually, I didn't say it, but uh, next year. We want to do the game with much more children. We are organizing, and of also we would like to uh, study it in a more game theoretical, game theory way. So, uh, if there is actually a better strategy, or if uh, uh, the humans play the same as the computers, but this is for next year. <laughs> yes, there is another question. Um, what about the uh, also moving from the uh, the network or integrating this uh, uh, nice game uh, uh, for network to, uh, strategy in the sense of also the multi objective you can uh, have situations in which you can earn more money uh, from closing triangles to uh, making more room uh, food um, there is uh, also since there is also the random part of due to dice uh, there is uh, it is uh, also clear for uh, children, yes. the opinion, that there could be different uh, objective, different way to get... Uh, okay, uh, yes, it was clear because uh, uh, actually um, children are really great. Yeah. <laughs> so they were looking always to gain more and more money, more than arriving to the capital. Well, actually, the first time we did the game, we understand that we didn't explain really well the objective of the game. But, um, yes, and also they in, uh, they, it seems that they uh, didn't understand that uh, they, uh, up to, uh, uh, until they have money they can continue playing. Mm -hmm. But actually they were more, you know, conservative. They mm -hmm. used a conservative strategy. <laughs> it was really funny, actually. And I didn't tell you another thing that was maybe the most important, actually that it was the feedback that we had from uh, the children when we did our final brainstorming and we asked them uh, are um, any networks in real life and starting from the fact that they start saying 
Ah, yes, yeah, so like the game, uh, uh, the, um, the road, and so also the train road, and uh, so but maybe the electric grids, uh, the telephone grids, uh, and, and so on, maybe also internet, and uh, so friendships are, and we were like, oh my god, they, they catch it perfectly, <laughs> it was amazing, they really think that networks are everywhere, and we were like, Oh <laughs> <laughs> but did you do that also before the day playing the game? Uh, no, actually no. So you need to do you that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know that we need to do it. But the problem is that, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not linear. So no. if I ask before, I cannot ask <laughs> after later. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that in one school and then in another one and see if there is any. Well, the, if the spherical child hypothesis is good. This <laughs> is appreciated. The approximation. Okay, so yes. I just have a small question regarding the spherical child. Did you compare the results of the game? Did you analyze the networks that you obtained at, at the end of the game when children play, compared with basically a null model that tells how statistically different are the networks that you obtain? Not yet. <laughs> but uh, we will do this, it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm concerned because not